what's up guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Ali and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how can you transfer data from that PC you see over there over to my PC right here uh, using a line cable well before we get started we have a number of uh, methods to transfer data from PC to PC one of them is uh, using a local network which is also good and I'm also gonna explain it so make sure to check my other video also and um but the best method and also the, there you have like a flash drive or cg drive or whatever um, but the best way in my opinion is transferring data from pc to pc using the line cable if you don't know what the line cable is this is the line cable uh, it basically looks like just the um, phone cable but the phone cable has four pins a I believe and uh, this one has eight pins so this is a difference if you want to take a look I don't know if you can see it all right so this is how the LAN cable looks like today's video we're gonna be talking about how can we transfer data from this PC to the, from that PC over to my main PC using this cable so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is connecting this cable from behind to that to this PC and get it over to that pc as well so i will do that and i'll get back to you all right guys so here i am on my pc and the first thing you want to do you can either right click on network and internet settings or go into the start and right click on it and then select settings and from there you want to go to network and internet click on that and that's going to bring you to the network status right here so forget about this ethernet 3 because i'm connecting my mobile phone to the pc what what is um important is going over to network and sharing center so you want to go over there and as you can see this it says uh, an, ident an identified network so this is uh, this means that i'm connecting my ethernet uh, from this pc over to that pc so um what you want to do next guys is um going to change advanced sharing settings click on that and then you want to turn on all of these so you want to make sure to turn on all of these things right here so turn on network discovery turn on file and printer sharing turn on network discovery turn on printer sharing as well here so like this and here you have turn on password protected sharing you want to turn that off but make sure after you finish transferring data from this pc to that pc or vice versa you want to come back again and turn on password protected sharing that's basically you're exposing yourself um into a risk if there is a lot of people are connected to the same network as you so just make sure to turn it back on once done all right so for now i'm just gonna turn it off and save changes and uh, then what you want to do is going back to settings right here and then you want to click on change adapter options so click on that and then this is the ethernet that we're connecting uh, the line cable so you want if it's disabled just make sure to enable it from here and what you want to do is right click on it go into properties from properties you want to select ipv4 this one internet protocol version 4 ipv4 right so click on properties and then you want to use the following ip address and then you want to write 192 168 Dot one and then you want to write something anything right here the last one so say that I want to select dot zero uh, two or two and then that's gonna the subnet mask is just gonna fill automatically I'm just gonna have it like that click OK and then close that and then what I'm gonna be doing guys is going over to my second PC from there and I'm gonna do the same exact setting that we have just set right here on this PC so let's do that and let me jump over to my other computer and I will get back to you so see you there 
All right, guys, so here I am in, on my second computer. And once again, what you want to do is go over to network, right click on it, and open network and internet settings. So click on that, and then we're going to do the same exact step. So I'm just going to walk you through them again, just in case. So first thing, you want to go over to network and sharing center, then change advanced sharing settings. Then you want to make sure to enable or turn on everything you see right here once again you want to make sure to turn off password protected sharing but make sure to turn it back on once done transferring data just for your safety and security all right guys so once done you want to save changes so exit out of this and back again you want to go to change adapter options Look on that so right here we have the ethernet and you want to enable that if it's disabled so I want to enable it right so it says identifying so right click on it properties and then go to IPv4 again properties and then use the following IP address and write the same IP address with the last digit different so here guys you want to write the difference so in that computer we set it uh, to be two in this computer we want to set it to be one so click ok close exit out of this exit out of this so we can keep everything clean all right so what you want to do right now is you want to on your keyboard um, hold the windows key plus r to open up the run command all right, guys, so this is a run command. And right now, this is set to my old IP address. So you want to set the new IP address that you have just set earlier to that computer just to give it access to. So 192.168.1.2 for that computer. So click OK, and that's going to open up the other computer. I mean, my main computer over there. So I'm going to share a file with you and so um, this is how you access it the second way to access the file is going to network and you will see this is your computer and this is your second computer this is your computer and this is my second computer right here all right so what i'm going to do is sharing a folder so say that i want to share for example steam library steam apps common so i want to share this line of side game and i want to share it to that computer all right, so um, right a click on line of sight or any folder that you want to give access to and then click on give access to specific people and then from the down, drop down menu select everyone. So click on add and then make sure to give permission as read and write permission and then you click on share and wait a second once done it said your folder is shared so click on done right now the folder is shared so if you go to network and you go to the second this is a second computer if you go to your main computer these are the file that I have just shared already so this is line of sight we have just shared and uh, so I'm gonna jump over to my main computer and I'm gonna show you how we can copy that file or how we can access this file and copy it over to our PC so I'll see you guys there alright guys so back again on my main PC and the way you want to access the shared file from that computer either by clicking on the Windows key and R and that's gonna open up the run command and then type the IP address of that computer that you have set to that computer so um, that is 192.168 Point one point one. So click OK and that's going to open up the shared files of that computer. Or the second one, uh, the second way is by clicking on network and going to network, which is the easiest way. And then you want to access to the second computer, which is this one. So this is line of sight, the file we have just shared from that computer. So if you want to copy that file over to your computer, just right click on it and copy. So say that I want to copy it over my, to my um desktop so just right a click here and paste and just wait for the speed to to be stabilized this is not the right speed just wait for it like 
give it a few seconds and as you can see guys this is the speed in my pc so uh it reads like sometimes goes up to 90 meg 100 even 100 megabytes per second so as you can see here it's stabilized so this is a stabilized speed 100 or 900 it's decreasing but it's it's just gonna decrease for a second and then go back up so don't worry about that as you can see so it's super fast uh it just took about like less than a minute to transfer a three gigabyte from that pc to this pc so all right guys so this is how you can transfer data from pc to pc using a line cable so if you find this video helpful make sure to give a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time so peace out